everybody. Welcome. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. Welcome into more challengers here on the Sorcerer Network. Oh, I'm Sorcerer Matt. Let's hope that today goes better than yesterday. All righty. Let's kick this off. So, um, we've got the fun fair is out. Um, an interesting stable boy here. Um, because... Um, uh, this now gives us like two three cost things um, and I, I I think that was the correct I think that was the correct move there um, this also gives us a nice little um, grabbing the spider gives us a nice little haunted kind of maybe sub theme or maybe the the stable boy becomes the sub theme um, but we do need to keep an eye on what my opponents have chosen all right, so my opponent has chosen a gangster. <clears throat> All right, this gets buffed by one. That's not nothing. Double gangster. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I'm feeling confident that we can beat that. Because now it's just trying to beat the rest of his stuff. Uh I would like this not to be the champion. Okay, good, 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 good. So now, yep, this is, a, oh, I forgot. Did I miscount? I miscount. Miscounted. Oh, well, um, life goes on. All right, so skeleton AI shapeshifter. Double skeleton. Okay. Um, so that guy went double skeleton. This guy took AI and um, a shapeshifter. Okay. Um, good news is we're not seeing a lot of crossover. Man, that double rescue pod is really tempting. But I'm going to resist. Um, gosh, that's very much not what I was looking for. Um... Hmm. I'm going to take double treasure here because that's fine. And then we'll just kind of remove one card and go from there. Maybe we, you know, transition into um, a different build. Probably want to try to get rid of these newcomers. But as of right now, I was hoping to see another spider or a stable boy or something like that. That um, rescue pod can be insanely good, um, but the problem is that it has to take the flag. And um, with the one cost, if there's no way to, to buff it, just <clears throat> always a risk there. Always a risk. Alrighty, let's see. So we're playing the person that won last time. Okay, I like when we can take the flag with a newcomer. All right, this is excellent. We're just, oh, this is really great. We're just passing it back and forth here. All right. I like that that comes out early. I like that all my newcomers were on top of the deck. That's fun. Eh, it's not ideal, but... Um, it's also not the worst thing in the world. Um, we can we can work around that. The good news is we are not seeing his AI, um, meaning that this stuff is not getting buffed. Oh, that's nice to see as well. Um, and all we have to do is beat this card. Oh, I guess he is going to get um, the newcomers back on top, and that's that might do us in. I'm not sure. Oh, right, because of the bench. Um, so, <laughs> my goodness, I am, I'm, I'm struggling today. Hey, look at that. We're, we won. Um, all right, let's keep going on the A realm. All right, there is another stable boy, but there's also another treasure. Um, this may seem like a really weird build. I'm going to need more three-powered things, but... I can work with this. I guess I should have gotten rid of some of the newcomers, but I don't know. Maybe not. 
Because as of right now, these two stable boys are not great. But just, it's hard to argue when you have triple, triple treasure. Uh, this is a pretty nice mascot build as well. Hmm. Yeah, this is... We've got like seven things that we could transition into, which is not super where you want to be in this game because there is a limited amount of cards you can get, but that's a little bit of a bummer because um, it'll, yeah, it gives them a card off the top, but that's okay. All right, there's Stable Boy. All right, so the next Stable Boy will at least be buffed a little bit. That's something. Um, all right, it'll actually be buffed a lot by the maximum amount that is of the three powered cards in this deck. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, we also, I'll say, we also have three treasure. It'd be nice if those could take, um, because then um, that can defend with more there. Okay, so this person has butler... Um, this person goes cowboy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I've got one more treasure. Um, and I've got another stable boy. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Um, right now our biggest advantage is that we have more cards than everybody. Um, that's, that's really the... Uh, Wow, we didn't even get to the rest of our stuff. Woo! Okay, that's nice. Um, what do we do here? I think we go for the B cards. It's just too good. Cook is really good. Cowboy is really good in this build. Like, okay, yeah, no, we're we gotta we gotta grab some more um we gotta grab some more three powered things. Uh, I'm gonna redraw here. Um Knight is not terrible in here either. So yeah, now we remove this, and let's get rid of all the newcomers. And I know that decreases how many cards are in my deck by quite a lot, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, the argument for going A would have been more A-level... Um, three cost or three power cards. The the reason I want to go for B is these three power cards just do more. Like this does more on attack. This does um, if this gets possession, it 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 puts the top card into the bench. Um, the necromancer would put this stable boy back on top, um, or a treasure back on top. There's other things that I could hit. Um, so I, I think just the upside was there because we got two three powered cards that do something whereas like this spider is just a three power card that just is three power and that's it hmm yeah i think that was the correct move um a ufo would have also been pretty nice because then that could have had us try to hit some more of the ape like the a things um to try to hit spiders or other stuff like that but i don't think we have a um yeah that's a nice card to start out with i don't think we, i don't think this is a bad build especially considering okay that person has a teenager which is a little bit frightening however when i see a gangster that doesn't frighten me as much Mm, that's a bummer that that didn't take the that the cowboy didn't uh, take the flag. What would have gone on top? Oh, well, the AI would have gone on top, which doesn't really excite me. It's nice that my treasure continues to take the flag, getting the plus two power on defense. That's really nice. All right, that's interesting that we've got. Um, it's an interesting teenager build. It looks like. Um, all right, good news here is my second stable boy is going to be good. Um, cowboy doesn't get off the top. That's great. Yeah, this is... We got a pretty streamlined deck here. Okay, so yeah, this Necromancer is definitely what I'm looking for. The one issue that I am having is there is a little bit of competition. Like, 
UFO and cowboy is clearly what this guy's looking for. Necromancer is what this guy's looking for. Like, there's... <clears throat> Ooh, that was close. That ghost. Ghost is such a good card. Such a good card. Yeah, this person's going all in. The, the trick with this is that this person already has two of the teenagers, and that's what makes that build go. So that's going to be much more difficult. Um... I don't love the blacksmith here, um, and I know I said this was a good mascot build, but I'm not sure. I, well, I mean, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five different. I think I'd rather just roll for something else. And the answer is that I get garbage. Um, but... Um, like, do I take the cook here? Um, do I just take the bat? That's you know, just five power and and kind of you know replace the spider there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I know that takes out. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab the cook, and so then I'm gonna take out the spider. And then I'm going to take out the champion. I've got this build going on here. I've got the cook supporting things, what's going on. I've got some high-powered things here. I, I, Based on what my opponents are going for, I think this just is, is fine. Like, no one seems to be out of control. And so I'm I'm feeling good at Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm I'm now convincing myself out of this as I'm thinking about it. Eh, um I don't know. We'll see. I, I I just think that none of these players are really exciting me with what they're doing. Uh, like the one player that's going for this like haunted the orange build. It's that's a scary build if they can get multiple teenagers. If they can't, which because two of them are already gone, that likelihood is down. Well, then then that becomes less scary. Okay. So we're playing the person that won last time. That is, anytime I'm going to treasure off the top, I'm going to feel good. Because starting with four power is is really good. Ooh, love that I don't get the cowboy um, right off the bat. I'll definitely be, ooh, wee, I love that. Um, okay. All right. Don't love to see the AI right off the bat, but so be it. Um I love that four bench spaces are filled already. Um, ooh, double AI. Okay. All right. All right, there's my last treasure. Ooh, I love that. So he doesn't get the the second UFO off, um, which is pretty nice. Um, this person is looking for a band, um, 100%. Um, oh, there it is. Um, but if we see one more unique card... Um, yeah, that's good. That's good. I love that. So now it's, yeah, one more unique card, and uh, he's out of bench space. And it doesn't matter, because I can defend with that. All right. So, yeah, like, this is, like, this is a scary build, but there's not that many two-powered two things. And then, like, the band didn't come out until late. Um, okay, so this person did get two teenagers. So this person now is is that's crazy that he was able to find two teenagers while this guy had two teenagers so this guy right here is the is the top in my mind the top player um i think we continue with the b cards um because oh i'll say the knight but um we grab double necromancer here um a hundred percent um, and I honestly think we replace, 
to replace the cook or the knight? Huh. Um, the knight has the ability to take down big stuff. I'm going to actually remove the cowboy. I think, while I love the cowboy, it's too situational. Um, it has to get the flag. And my opponents also have quite a lot that is, like, on the bench things. But but the good news here is, so, like, these necromancers can can get the stable boys... But it can also get these treasures back on top, which is not nothing. Um, and uh, unless my opponent has a card that gives us more cards, that is very good. Um, and that's also very good. So we're going to see how we do against this deck right away. Um, the fact that the Necromancer came out first is, is, is really good. And the fact that a Teenager came out right away is also very good. Um... So there's Treasure and Necromancer. Um, I don't want to put the Cook back on top. Oh, I must? Okay, well, that's a bummer. I uh, don't really want to put the Cook back on top, but so be it. Um, yeah, that's not a you may. You have to put one of those. Eh, that's fine. We can work around it. Alright, so there's Butler. Oh, that's that's good, because that means his second teenager will not be as buffed. Alright, that's okay. Surprise, surprise, there's a cook on top. Um, I like that the treasure takes the flag, though, and not the cook. That's a little bit of a bummer. But it doesn't, like, kill us here. Um, like, yeah, that stable boy. I've still got two of them. And, like, being able to take this card down in one. And one fail swoop is really good. And defending with five is, is pretty nice right now. Um, really happy to see a butler come out. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is fine. I believe there's another teenager in here, which is going to hit for quite a lot. So that's going to hurt a little bit. But, um... We'll work around it. Yeah, see, I'm assuming he didn't want to... Yeah, see, I would like to see the teenager there, because now that teenager becomes much more powerful with all this stuff down here. I'd like to see it now. happening down here okay huh yeah that's when I want to see it see I'm not sure I have enough firepower to defeat something that's nine <sighs> yep so, just some unfortunate draws there, but, I mean, that, that deck is, is going to be extremely hard to beat. Um, I mean, I'm always a fan of the villain, but I also think that the vampire is the right card here. Um, and then... Um, hmm... Hologram is really nice because it can it can put stuff in my opponent's deck, um, but um, I'm gonna grab that. What do we get rid of here? Um, I think we get rid of the bat and the hologram. Hmm. Yeah, I think that we go with this. I like the, I am, I am a fan of just not going, I have no way to exhaust anything. Let's just keep it at six unique. 
Um, the hope is that this can like keep keep this engine going, and um, yeah. And we just kind of have to hope that you know we're the biggest. Our biggest problem is we can't really take down anything big. That's the biggest problem. Okay. So this person won last round. Okay, don't love seeing that right off the bat. I do love seeing that right off the bat, but I don't love seeing that. However, I have ways to get that back. Ooh, double director. Hmm. Well, um, that's <laughs> rather unfortunate. Whoa! Okay, that's, that's going to be a problem. Dang, I'm, I'm not sure we can beat that with those, all three of those coming out right away. Because everything's just going to have a massive amount of attack. And I'm not necessarily a, a huge beefy defensive. Okay. That's good. Um, that that was actually very, very good. Because um, that, that forced my opponent to have to go through some cards. Um, yeah, that's, that's not very good. Um, especially because... Well, I would say the stable boy. But... Um, now we can move that back on top. The cook is helping a little bit. Just think on attack. There's just, you know. I mean, this is what, what I want the deck to do. Um, yeah, that's, that's not ideal. The good news, the only good news about this is that it's only on attack. And so I'm not getting the problem of my stuff is um, my stuff is getting uh, having to like push through this huge defense stuff. Okay, um, that is a little bit of a bummer because that allows him to be able to take um, take stuff off of his bench. And I don't think that five is going to be enough to to um, or six is going to be enough to yeah oh man that was so close um man I'm not sure that's enough to to make it into the finals here so really we just kind of ran out of gas there um. Uh, I mean, the fact that my, basically what happened is my opponents got, I mean, this opponent got exactly what they needed. This opponent, I mean, three directors is really, really good. Like this on attack. I'm not honestly sure what these two teenagers were doing in here. Um, out, like outside of just like occupying space and, you know, being something that, that can hopefully take something down. But, um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's clearly not going to be enough. Yeah, we needed to we needed to win that one. So just ran out of gas. It happens. Um, all right. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, like, comment, and we'll see you next time.